Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you're not aware, I have a little series on my channel where I review, well, I guess I react to new releases on the day and day after that they are released. I will link my playlist on either side. I don't know which one it is. I wanted to talk to you guys about the releases I will be reviewing slash reacting to in the month of February. I cannot believe it's already February. So I guess this is sort of my TBR. It's like half my TBR. First up on February 1st, the Wooven Kingdom, the Wooven, I've said that word too many times now that I don't know how to pronounce it. Do you ever have those words? The Woven Kingdom. I think it's Woven. Woven? The Woven Kingdom by Tahara Mafi. This is a YA fantasy romance. It is going to be a trilogy and it's Persian mythology. I feel like I've never read Persian mythology as far as I'm aware. YA fantasy, I feel like it's always fun to read even if it's not always like a five star. So I'm excited to read this. I think it's like 512 pages. So it's gonna be a, a long one and I hope that it is very engaging. Other than like that it's about Persian mythology and that it's a trilogy, I don't know too many other details uh, at all. So we're gonna be surprised with this one. Second up being released on February 8th is Night Shift by Kier Ladner. This is Kier Ladner's debut novel. This is a story of female friendship and obsession, which is honestly like, that's exactly what I'm after. This is about a woman named Maggie, and uh, oh, I think she works in London and she becomes friends with her coworker named Sabine and she becomes like totally fascinated and obsessed with her. And she ends up working the night shift with her in whatever job that they're working in. And this is supposed to be just like, it's described as a thriller. And I think it's just Maggie, like, I don't know. There were a few blurbs in there that I'm really excited about. Um, I will obviously link all of the good reads for these books so you can read the synopses yourself. But it kind of gave me vibes of Last Night in Soho without like the dead people. <laughs> Next being released on February 15th is One Night on the Island by Josie Silver. She uh, released that one book uh, one day in December last year. I never read it. I can't remember why. Um, so we'll see. If you guys have read that book and you like this author, let me know because I'm a little nervous based on the description I'm about to tell you. This is a romance novel. It's about a woman named Cleo who turns 30. She takes a sabbatical to Ireland. It's a self-coupling retreat that she's taking. And she rents like a cabin, but there happens to be a man named Mac who gets assigned the same cabin. So it's like forced proximity, which instantly <laughs> irks me because the chances of that happening is just so slim that it takes me out of the story. Um, and I think it's going to be an enemies to lovers situation. I also sometimes don't like romances that are set in different places, like on a vacation, although there are definitely exceptions to that. Like the people we meet on vacation, I effing love that. But that was so good because there was so much history between the main characters. But the reason I don't like vacation or like romances that happen somewhere else is because I feel like it's so easy to fall in love when you have no responsibilities and then you get back to your everyday life and you're like, what What am I doing? <laughs> Which is why I don't watch The Bachelor, so. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be interested to reading this because I think this is the only like release day romance, official romance book that I will be reading. So I needed one. And then the final week of February, on February 22nd, there are three releases that I have purchased slash pre-ordered that I'm really excited about. The first one I'm super excited about is The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O. Oh. This is a retelling of a Korean folktale called The Tale of Shim Chung. I really want to read that folktale, depending on its length. Usually folktales are pretty short. Um, before I read this, because I feel like this is gonna Knowing the history of the story is going to give me so much more context. This is a fantasy novel. Mina lives in a town or village, I don't really know yet, um, 
where they have to sacrifice one young woman, I think a year to the sea god to try to wake him up and see who his wife will be. It sounds like a Hunger Games situation, even more so because Mina has a brother and the brother's girlfriend, whose name is Shim Chung, who happens to be, it sounds like the main character of the folktale. Shim is elected, I think, to be thrown into the ocean, but because Mina's brother is so distraught, she's scared that he's gonna get in trouble and get killed, so she sacrifices herself. I volunteer as tribute. I don't really understand where the story is gonna go from there. I think she meets other mythical creatures um, that she either has to conquer or I don't really know, but we're gonna find out. The cover is also so beautiful. Now I did order a in-person, what is that called anymore? <laughs> a physical book of this um, because I live in Hawaii. It's an island, obviously. Releases don't get to us on the day of. It's usually a few days after. So yeah, I won't be able to read this the very first day it comes out, probably a couple days after. But yeah, very excited for this one. The second book that I ordered for the February 22nd release day is Manhunt by Gretchen Felker Martin. This one sounds crazy. This is like a sci-fi post-apocalyptic horror novel. I don't read too much horror, but listen to this description in the first sentence that I read. Beth and Fran spend their days hunting feral men and harvesting their organs. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. There's also a third character named Robbie, and this, like I said, post-apocalyptic, something about organ harvesting and there's evil men, which just sounds like a real world. <laughs> Um, trying to kill everyone. But this is also, it's a response to every gender-based apocalypse story that failed to consider the existence of transgender and non-binary people. So that'll be interesting listening to LGBTQ persons in this setting, like a horror novel setting, because you see it in movies all the time. The LGBTQ or people of color are the first to die, the first to be sacrificed. So I think this is gonna be a really cool horror novel. I think it's going to be important and hopefully it's a little funny too. I like um, comedic horror. We'll see. The third and final book um, for the February 22nd release date is Float by Kate Merchant. This is a YA contemporary romance. I love YA contemporary romance. The reason I picked this is because on Goodreads it is described as such. For fans of Sarah Dessen, if you watched a few of my videos, you already know I'm obsessed with Sarah Dessen, so obviously I had to buy this without even reading the description. It actually, the description sounds like a Sarah Dessen book. It's about a girl named Waverly. Of course, she has to have a, like a cool millennial name here. Waverly lives in Alaska. Her parents have this awful relationship. They've been divorced, um, but it sounds like it's just really awful going back and forth between them. And so for one summer, Sarah Dessen loves the summer too, guys. Waverly is going to Florida with her aunt to stay with her aunt. And that sounds nice and good. I'm from Florida. I lived there for 26, 27 years. But Waverly is so used to Alaska. She loves Alaska. Um, I don't think she knows how to swim. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenge at first. But the synopsis goes on to tell us that she... She makes friends for like the first time in her life and I think she meets a guy and then she, she has probably a great summer, which I'm excited to read about. And then she is going to have to come to terms with the fact that she has to leave. So I think this is just going to be a great coming of age story. I think it's going to be heartwarming and cute and I'm so excited to read it. All right, guys, that is it for my release. I still don't know what to call it. It's a mouthful. It's like release day reading vlogs. If you're interested in any of these, um, be sure to subscribe to my channel and um, look out for those videos that will be coming out. All right. See you later.